Egar nun elton domu en pro taisi duraisi, staye ehon pe le kakaiaspida kai duo dure, toioseon hoion minagota pro tenoesa, oikoen emetero pinonta te terpomenonte, ex efures anionta par ilu mermeridao, oja togar kai keset, to as epineos odysseus, pharmacon androfonon did zemenos. Ophrahoi ea, ius criestai calcereas, an homen uhoi docen, epeirathe us nemesidzeto aene untas. Alla pater hoi docenemos, file eskegar aenos, toios eon nester sin homila seian odysseus. Pantes co cumoroi te genoiato picrogamoite. Nice. There. Mm -hmm. So, if only, I, uh, is the way I wound up translating it. Um, and I can't see, is, is that, do I have a comma there or a period? I mean, that's just the editor's choice, but. After what? Uh, after Duda, yeah, it's a comma. comma. Yeah. So, let, let, me, let me follow the lead of the editor, of the modern editor and say, if only that would happen, then he... Um, it, by the way, I don't think it's a wish. It's not that kind of agar. It's yeah, a, it, I think it is. I think, well, let me I, keep I, going. We'll, we'll I think it's a condition. This. I think it's a condition. But then there's no then. Yes, there is. <clears throat> hey, guys, give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so, while you two disagree on that, okay. I'll just keep going, <laughs> and, and then we'll decide whether it's a wish. Well, and, and let's not decide yet how, how we do a God. Let me just get through this toyos. <laughs> uh, he, Odysseus, being the kind of person that I um, took note of way back when, at the very first time, um, in in our house, mm -hmm. oh, oh, that's right, because he's Mr. Taffian, mm -hmm. uh, in, our, in our palace, um, as he was drinking and having a good time there, uh, and, and he was just returning from Ephura, which I think should be Corinth. They're different ones. There's it's a, a different one, so let's, yeah. let's, yeah. let's just say Ephraim. I have no idea. There's one in northwest Greece, oh, too. Oh, thank you, Doug. And yeah. Doug really knows his, his <laughs> northwest, so <laughs> no argument. From Ephraim, coming back from Ephraim, uh, from the house of, or from the place of, I guess, Elos, the son of Mermeros, Oh, and, and there it is. Um, I, I think, uh, I think Doug, that I think Lenny is okay if I say if only, because then I can just string these. I these. think I think it's a very long where you have the apodesis is yes. um, uh, in way down the last line you read. Pontes. Oh my God. Coco moroi te genoito picro gamoite. If only he would uh, show yeah. up. Yeah, these people would be okumoroi. Yeah, but but in a but way you also have in front of that toyosa on the stairs and hamila. I got, wish he would, right? You you've got lots of. Um, you've got another octative there though. Lot, two sixty five. Yes, but it? it's like the first one. Yes, exactly. But it's still part of the apodosis. Well, well it could be a wish octative too, right? Oh, well, but, but, okay. well, we could disagree. <laughs> we can, yeah, yeah, yes, but this is unseemly <laughs> disagreement. <laughs> yes. okay. That's right. We can. Oh, all right. Be unseemly. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. <laughs> Why not? We're friends. Yeah. And good colleagues. <laughs> okay. So, uh, are, are you okay? Yes, yes, but, yes. Keep going. Um, yeah. So, both of you are okay, even though we're not quite um, ag agreed about Protasis and apodosis. Yep. All I'd say is we, we, this is such paratactic territory that um, the chunks can separate from each other, then kind of coalesce with each other again. So, so far the translation will still work, whether I say if only or if. Mm -hmm. yep. Right. Um, and I'm where it says, the text says, um, you see, this is 260, he went off. He, he went off even to that place. 
uh, Odysseus did, traveling on a swift ship, uh, looking for a, 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 um, a potion, a potion that, no, not a potion, a, I'll just say poison. Can I say yeah, poison? Sure, yeah. Looking for a poison that kills men. Uh, so that it would be possible for him to smear um, his his arrows, his bronze-tipped arrows, presumably with the poison. But um, but he, this is the host w that he went to, this nice man called Elos, did not give them, did not give the poison to him since he had a feeling of retribution vis-a-vis -vis the gods. Again, I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. and vis-a-vis and -vis does not imply negative reception or positive reception, it's just directed in that direction. Yeah. So um, how about this? Because, because he felt a, a feeling, if he felt concerns of retribution um, with respect to the gods, how's that? Uh, who exist uh, for all time. Um, but my father uh, gave it to him because he, he was awfully fond of him. <laughs> yeah. You like awfully? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. awfully. Yeah, terribly awfully. fond of him. Yeah. Well, terribly, I don't know. That, yeah, in American yeah. English, does that work? Yeah. Terribly yeah. fond? Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, so he was terribly fond of him. Um, that's the kind of person who should um, who should get mixed up with the suitors. Um, that's the kind of person Odysseus is to uh, should be. See, this is where I think that yeah. uh, after all these interruptions, you're going back to the should would uh, thing again. You know again. what, uh, Doug? The, I concede. So, so this yeah. is this is the apotheosis, the then. Yeah. Of the if clause that started all the way back Agar um, and Agar in 255. And this just uh, um, you know, is a resume of all yes. the little story that all, came all in all between. All these little chunks in between. Yeah. And this is typical ring yeah. composition, as, right. as, as certainly the three of us know. So right. so I, I totally concede. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Lenny, Lenny, no, no, Lenny no, is no, not I, conceding. I'm okay, <laughs> but I think it also could be another wish optative, right? Oh, here? Yeah, being like that. He, w I wish he would. Oh, oh okay. Mix, so mix it up with this. If he's like that, I, yeah. I, I wish that he'd be like that, and then um, mix it up with the uh, suitors. You see? Yeah. All right. That's maybe not so good, but I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think there were. You yeah. know, the, these are. It's not that different. They're bordering on each other. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and, and then he, we're fighting a little border fighting war. Over, yes. <laughs> and then here's some more parataxis for you, gentlemen, <laughs> which is, um, and 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 let them all be quick to die, and, and have. A really bad wedding. <laughs> I don't think it's let them. It's no, they here would. you've got the cat. They, so they it's would. Gonna be, I, oh, expect, oh, uh, I expect they all would be. They, yeah. they, uh, then they would be. Yes. All, uh, so then this is uh, for, uh, in honor of Doug, this would be an apodosis too? Or? Yeah. This is this yeah. is a prospective optative instead of oh, a for wish optative. Sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One with cat. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't buy. It. That's <laughs> this is Schweitzer. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. but, but this is me. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm so, saying, uh, all right. Yeah, no, no, no. no, no, no. Well, I'm just trying to be practical. Yes, that, exactly. That um, that um, these wonderful expressions of potentiality. Right. Um, w w whether they express a wish or a potential or or even even something like um, an action. My favorite example. This is from Bamaniste. He would get up every morning at seven o'clock in the uh -huh. seven o'clock. Uh -huh. He yeah. would get up. Uh, if that that almost depends on constructions like he said that he would get up at seven. Okay. Hmm. And hmm. Uh, and and so hmm. this this is really a lesson in what a mood is. A mood yeah. is just a, mod a modality yeah. on the indicative, which is yeah. non-mood. Okay. So I don't know. Um, I, I just find that when when grammars start over over specifying, this is the optative of the whatever. 
Okay. It's, it's not necessarily... No, it's just the one with the cat and the one without, that's all. So, uh, so well, that's well okay, one but without is usually sh uh, true a wish. Yeah, exactly. But, but even even one with can be... It, yeah. Because it's more... I mean, you can also mobile. have the one that expect the expecting one without the cat. Yeah. Because that happens yeah. as well. It's almost like saying, yeah. uh, I expect th these people to be... Um, to have a short life yeah. and, and to have a really bad marriage. Yes. And of course what's funny is they all want one kind of marriage, <laughs> which, which I, I don't know, do they really think it's a good one? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yep. It's beautiful. It's such, is, isn't it like the most perfect um, system, and it's not, I'm not saying perfect, but it's so time-tested. You, yeah. can, you can just imagine that this kind of construction, and I, I'm glad we went back and forth agreeing and disagreeing because it just shows the complexity and beauty of and the, the precision uh, of it. And too. the precision. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to return to something we did yesterday too, just very briefly. Uh, yep. So uh, uh, all of them uh, would uh, suffer a swift fate and they would suffer a, uh, a bitter wedding. They're the suitors, right? The uh, conclusion, uh, or the apotheosis, that's just the then part of the uh, condition. Uh, the syntax of that uh, last passage that we did, where yes. uh, Athena, in disguise, says that if Odysseus uh, came now, uh, the suitors would really uh, be in trouble. That's basically what uh, she's saying, yes, yes. if then. Um, but between uh, that uh, uh, conditional, uh, two parts of that conditional sentence, yes. you have a whole story inserted. And it, it just amazes me when I think back on it now, or it did as I reflected afterwards, uh, you know, the control of the syntax yes. that uh, that implies. Beautiful. That it's uh, yes. uh, very sophisticated. And you know why she has to do it at that point. She has to uh, establish why, in her mind, uh, yes. it, 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 you know, Odysseus's presence would have that consequence. It's because she already knows who he is. So she gives the whole story, and it's yes. about eight yes. lines long. Yes. And the control uh, on the part of the oral poets, yes. you know, to be able to do that, and then to come yes. back and finish yes. it off. Yes. I think is worth, you know, paying a little attention to. Oh yes, and and the way you, dear Doug, talked about the oral poet. This is the way uh, people who do only literature in print or in text, anyway, um, have a hard time wrapping their minds around that an oral poet is a virtual soul yes, uh, performer, yeah, fantastic and rhetorical control. Yeah, and yeah. and it's because it doesn't happen overnight. It, what we're looking at is uh, centuries, maybe millennia, of um, the most highly refined Practice. performer yeah. audience interaction, yeah. and everything nice. is time tested. Yeah. Nice. But well, that's that's another story. Yeah. yeah. But but I'm just saying that there may be people out there who say, oh, well, oral poets improvise, and remember how uh, Albert Lord, our mentor. It was very squeamish about the word improvise because it, it, for modernity, improvise is just making things up as you go along and not uh, not thinking of the consequences. <laughs> it, this kind of plot making is consequential. Yes. So yeah. totally integrated into and, and the precise yep. and yep. Uh, plugs into. It, it, well, I like the way you said it, Lenny. Yep. Yep. Totally integrated. Yep. Yeah, every piece is, belongs where it is. <laughs> yeah, we only understood. Sometimes we don't, and sometimes we never will. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's fine.